G'day everybody. Well this is just a bit of a test run of the wooden CRT monitor. Or at least the casings wood. Basically what happened was my uh, Hewlett Packard Pavilion uh, monitor fell off the saw bench. Because I just had it there temporarily. It fell off and completely shattered the back casing when it hit the ground. It still worked alright but it just wasn't very safe having half the, uh, the neck of the CRT hanging out the back of it. And plus all of the mounts and things broke from uh, what holds the um, picture tube in place. All of that had broken off because it fell on the back. So I just, uh, for shits and giggles, I figured I may as well build a uh, wooden case for it. It's a 17 inch picture tube. And basically when this one dies I can pretty much pull it out and swap it around with any uh, standard CRT. Um, and the main board as well, I'll just uh, pull that out with it. Got the other uh, front power buttons and things on the uh, the front since I um I was originally gonna have it set back inside the uh the front trim, but I just couldn't uh, get it to fit. Not also didn't have any buttons, so I just put it there. But I just figured uh we'd give it a bit of a test run with this rather messed up Dell. Uh, that's the casing from that Inspiron. Uh, the board in that was dead, so I put one of those ASUS boards in, which is inside that tangle of mess and we've got a couple of hard drives uh, which I'm having issues with I'm guessing these are because there were two of these P4 um, Pentium quad cores that uh, they must have been out of uh, home server computers or something but they are uh, at least the hard drives from them are really misbehaving and also managed to blow up the uh, CPU cooling fan for it, so I just figured I'd uh, do a bit of a redneck repair on that and just uh, get some fresh air to it. But we'll uh, put some power to it and see what happens. I've just got that hot wired straight to the uh, power supply. But yeah, Asus P5 GZMX mainboard. Series something or other. It's got an Intel logo over the top of it, so you can't really see what that is, but Or it could be X series. I don't know. We're just going to set up see what we can do with that This monitor works good though, and it kind of looks looks cool in its uh, wood casing. I might even um Shingle it with uh, little bits of sheet alley. I'll just cut up some alley flash and tiny little uh, squares and just put that all over it. That'll make make it look pretty cool. Or I could uh, clad it in um, in hardwood with some uh, textured stuff. What are you beeping at? Oh yeah, that's because the fan's not there. So we're going to boot. Um, this is basically what I've been doing all afternoon. You got uh, boot preference. Well, first floppy drive, we want to change that to hard drive. Now that's, uh, camera really doesn't let the screen refresh. That's at first floppy drive, so in theory it should boot to that, but if you watch what happens, you go, uh, F10, save and exit. It'll just reboot, it'll go back through a cycle, so it may take a while, but... It will just sit here for like this. But for some reason I can't actually get it to boot to any of these uh, two hard drives. Despite one's got a copy of Windows Server on it. That one there I think may have a virus. That's an old WD Caviar with a converter on it. But I can't get any of it to uh, respond. Well, it seems my uh, little cooling job works good. Yeah, there's a whole load of fans right down inside. Each of those are all wide in parallel. I made this thing up ages ago. I just couldn't find a decent computer to uh, stick it in. You just get a uh, bit of duct. Bit of, I think it's um. Yeah, we go doing it again. You just watch what it does. Yeah, see. Reboot and select proper boot devices if there's a hard drive obviously isn't proper in the world of ASUS But anyway as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted Piece of flexible duct goes over the end hangs out the window 
And of course, those are all drawing air in, so that way I can get good um, fresh air flow into it. That was originally made for the fume extractor, but since I got it sitting around, I may as well use it for this. But uh, the cooling works good. I can't actually feel anything um, getting too hot. I can feel good uh, air flow. A little bit of leakage between the other uh, fans, but yeah, it's good flow of air. But yeah, it doesn't matter what I do, what I put in it. I don't even know if I can get the CD-ROM drive out since it's one of those ones that's uh, the button's actually covered up. So whether you've got to push on it or something, I don't know. Although yeah, that might be it there. I'm really not familiar with new, uh, new fangled casings like this. Yeah, that's all it's doing. But, I just figured I'd just show off the wooden computer monitor and give it a bit of a test run just to show it works good. But, uh, anyway, I'll uh, see if I can get more fiddling around with this, see if I can get it to uh, do anything a bit more than that. But, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.